Ito ang Mornings with GMA Regional TV. Ngayong umaga mga kapuso, makakasama natin ang youth achiever na talagang kapupulutan ninyo ng inspirasyon para i-share ang kanyang uplifting story. Narito ang isa sa Eco Business Youth A-List 2021 awardee, Mr. Mark Jacinto. Good morning, Mark, and welcome to Mornings with GMA Regional TV. Magandang, magandang araw sa iyo, Harold, and magandang araw sa mga nanonood na Mornings with GMA Regional TV. Grabe, Mark. Isang pangmalakas ang good morning greetings naman dyan para sa ating mga kapuso sa North and Central Luzon. Ayun, magandang umaga. Good morning po sa ating, of course, sa mga kapuso sa North and Central Luzon. And thank you ulit, Harold, sa pag invita sa akin sa Mornings with GMA Regional TV. Mark, it's our pleasure. Bilang isang curator uh, ng uh, online SDG Youth Action Forum, um, ano nga ba yung role mo bilang isang curator at ano ba yung uh, forum na ito? So, yung online SDG Youth Action Forum, it's an online community na sinimulan ko last March 2020. March 2020, so hmm. magto two years na siya next month. And it's an online community wherein we bridge opportunities and we bridge networks to young people, especially hmm. here sa Pilipinas and even other areas of the world as well. So we bridge opportunities and help them effectively advance and contribute to the United Nations Sustainable wow. Development Goals. So ako bilang creator, I really lead the group and our volunteers para ma-share yung mga opportunities and also mabigyan sila ng platform upang mas mabigyan ng kaalaman and of course skills sila upang makakontribute sa United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. So as of now, we have 24,500 members nice. and we have already bridged almost thousands of opportunities whether dito sa Pilipinas man yan, local, international or even regional opportunities sa different youths as well for the past two years. So mostly online of course. Ikaw ay uh, aktibo sa mga gawaing pangkabataan. Noon pa ba, Mark, ay uh, aktibo ka na? And uh, yes. kailan ka ba nagsimula sa ganito mga gawain? Yes, actually, medyo late bloomer ako, to be honest. I, I started cool. nung college, nung I actually graduated 2017 sa De La Salle University. So, uh -huh. mga 2013, 2014, almost nine, eight years ago. Ang tagal namin nun. Right. And... Doon, doon ako mas naging intertwined with what I do sa mga volunteering works and then after noon, nagtuloy-tuloy na until now I'm still doing volunteering work and I'm even expanding my knowledge. Nag-aaral ako na yun, ng Masters of Public Art sa UP Diliman and also involved in other opportunities as well katulad ng pagiging club information and communications officer sa Rotary Club of Midtown Quezon City and other organizations as well. At syempre, Mark, dahil nga sa dedikasyon mo, naparangalan ka. Let's first talk about the Eco Business Youth A-List Award. Ano yung award na to? At uh, papaano ba pinipili yung recipients ng parangal na to? So, yung Eco Business Youth A-List Award, it's an award by Eco Business. They are a sustainability media agents based in Singapore mm -hmm. wherein ina-awarda nila yung actually nag-start sila more of the business A-list lang so yung mga uh, above 30 yeah. tapos in 2019 and then in 2020 they started considering na mga youth leaders as well who are working in sustainability or whether social enterprises and then ngayon 2021 mas nag-focus pa sila in people, young people in general who are working and advancing sustainability in different fields. So whether schools man yan, whether non-profit man yan, whether volunteering groups man yan, yun, ina-awardan nila. And I was lucky and honored to be included for, for their 2021 list. And they are nominating, I, I hope, I think, they will be nominating again for the 2022 this year. So, around October, November, sila nagpapatawag ng mga nominees as well. Grabe, no? But, pero ang isang award pa, Mark, is yung uh, 25 under 25. Can you tell us more about the award? So, yung 25 under 25, it's an award started by Common Purpose. 
their uh-huh. leadership development consultancy organization based in United Kingdom. Right. Tapos meron din silang branches in Singapore. And they are awarding kasi yung mga alumni na sumali sa mga programs nila before. So I was able to join their program last 2018. Yung ASEAN Young Leaders Program sa Singapore, nakalipad tayo sa Singapore noon, and we were able to meet fellow young leaders in the Southeast Asian region. I'm sure alam mo yung hard work mo, pero sa palagay mo, ano yung katangian mo that qualified you to these awards? That's a, that's a tough question. Kasi I think may iba-iba tayong katangian. Eh. Ako, siguro my dedication, my hard work, my openness to learn and openness to important, huh? to connect with other people kasi hindi porket uh, nandito na ako sa state na to or such eh mas magaling na tayo sa iba we uh, we have this, I have this principle that we learn from each other and with one another na kahit iba't iba tayo ng mga perspectives iba't iba tayo ng mga pananaw natututo tayo sa bawat isa and I believe isa to sa mga katangian bakit Siguro ako na consider ng mga different award-giving bodies sa mga nakikita nilang efforts as well sa ginagawa ko. Mark, it's our pleasure to be uh, speaking to you this morning. Grabe, nakaka-inspire ka at syempre, I'm sure na-inspire din sa'yo yung mga kapuso natin na nanonood this morning. God bless you and bigger you. things are ahead, I declare. Thank you so much. Maraming salamat po. Yan lang po kayo mga kapuso. Babalik ang mornings with GMA Regional TV. Ito ang Mornings with GMA Regional TV.